Hi, it's Brian with Holly Puna Real Estate. Uh, welcome again to another weekly update of Vacation Rentals on Oahu. For this past week, uh, there was actually seven new listings. Two went to an escrow very quickly and a total of uh, 14 sold properties. Uh, 12 of those were cash transactions, the other two were conventional. So still really much a uh, uh, market for cash buyers. And before I start covering the units, uh, I want to to share with you that I was just recently got back from a vacation rental convention in Nashville. And supposedly there's about 3000 attendees and a big takeaway, which was pretty commonly discussed in some seminars I attended was the importance of very quality pictures, whether you hire a professional photographer or you know a friend who can take pictures or you can do them yourself, but the importance of obviously portraying your property in the best light possible and that first starts with very high quality uh, photography so i mean i've talked about this many times in these videos really take the time to spend the money to uh get quality images of your property if you want to really maximize your income second thing that they uh, talked about was for the first five images on your uh, listing for the most part always have those interior Either unless the property is really has a great like curb appeal, maybe have one of those for the first five in images. But for the most part, majority of those first five Im images, um, they recommend being interior that really portray what kind of experience the guest is going to get if they uh, book your property. You know, the kitchen, the living room, just the furnishings. If it's a condo or townhome community that has some really nice common area amenities, they suggested perhaps using one of your first five images to show a common area feature that you think many guests will find a value, um, such as really a really nice swimming pool, maybe a rec room, um, either, you know, hot tub, exercise room, something like that. So yeah, those are two, two key takeaways um, that may be a value to you that I learned in that convention. So let's get started here. Uh, first new listing is at Kuhio Village. All right, this is a second floor unit, 264 square feet, price of 280,000. City views, monthly dues, what it covers here. I actually toured this unit yesterday with a client and some deferred maintenance. I would definitely call this a uh, uh, need a full remodel. But in my opinion, it has a lot of potential, but it also has some challenges. I'll get those in a minute. So your Lanai is here. This is a Malka facing unit. And the big challenge is, so here's your open lanai. It's kind of, kind of a public lanai, but you got your little table there, storage area. But to access any unit on the second floor, and there's units on the other side of the building, this pathway takes you to the elevators. And so any guests coming to this unit or any other unit around on, this, on the second floor deck has to either pass by this unit or go this way. So you're gonna get a whole lot of traffic of people coming and going. And then also just being one floor above the street, you're dealing with a whole lot of street noise. Now, yesterday when I was in the unit, I did shut the door, turn on the AC on low. Um, that did drown out a lot of the noise, but I could still hear occasional street traffic. Here's a, a better shot. So that's kind of what you're dealing with. And you can hear the pathway to the elevator. And if you go around here, walk alongside the building, it will take you again to the other side of the, the other side where more units are at. So it has some challenges, but I think this is a pretty good price point, um, even though it needs to be fully remodeled. And my expectation with this is it's probably gonna go into escrow quite quickly. Next uh, unit, Palms at Waikiki, this is on the 10th floor, price at 339. It's a studio at 271 square feet. City ocean views, here's your monthly dues and what it covers. I like this unit. They really did a really nice job, in my opinion, of uh, remodeling it. A lot of the units at Palms at Waikiki um, have a standard hotel look and feel to it. But to me, this is a really nice and custom, custom job. And I, I don't mind these views at all. You get a little peak blue ocean view. And I'd rather have, I, I just like this view here. And I think this is very tastefully done. And this is a pretty fair price point, in my opinion. Uh, here we have a unit, um, 
excuse me, um, Trump Tower Waikiki on the 19th floor. This is a uh, one bed, one half bath, a little over 1,100 square feet, price of 1.58 million. City ocean views, very high monthly dues, and this is what it covers. Um, if you want more information on this property, uh, contact me directly. Okay, here we have a two bedroom on the 18th floor at the Elikai, price of 1.798 million. Uh, 1,000 square feet, two bed, two bath. Here's your views here, monthly dues and what it covers. Um, also common area maintenance. And here's a good example is where they show common areas pictures before the, before the unit photos. And I would greatly prefer to see unit photos um, before common area. Pretty good eight floor to be uh, capturing some nice views, but not really too keen on the location of this unit. Uh, you can see here, really your direct view is looking at the Hawaiian Hilton. This is just a side angle shot of the ocean. Um, and the unit itself, in my opinion, if you really want to get top dollar, needs to be remodeled. I mean, it could definitely be rented out the first day you take possession. But if you want to get the best uh, nightly rate, in my opinion, this has got to be uh, redone. So, market is hot, but I think it's priced a little high. Next, uh, Trump Tower Waikiki on the 34th floor. This is a two bed, three bath, uh, almost 1,700 square feet. Price for 2.68 million. Your views here, monthly dues and what it covers. Okay, now covering units that just one on the market but quickly went to escrow. We have this uh, 27th floor unit, Waikiki Sunset. One bed, one bath, um, 534 square feet. Here's your views here monthly dues and what it covers, 855,000. Um, I actually have a client who is under contract on this one. And I've yet to see that this unit's fully booked until March. Um, so I've yet to see the property in person. We're actually gonna do the home inspection next week. Um, so I'll finally get a look, but I'm really curious to see this one because this could be the nicest unit I've seen at sunset. Um, it was professionally remodeled, fully remodeled and the owner, current owner spent about 150,000 on the remodel and furnishings. A lot of things he, um, he got from Italy, but upgraded all the electrical. Um, yeah, seems like it's just a really, really quality unit. And I agree with him just based on feedback from clients and my own experience is that he said, once we get in the unit, the views are way better in person than the pictures. And I, I I highly believe that because it's been my experience in the past. And I've had other guests or have other clients tell me the same thing when they finally see a unit in person. And this was a multiple offer situation, but high end cabinetry. Yeah, really nicely done. They did a lot of stuff with the uh, the walls and the ceiling to make sure they're just impeccable. New upgraded doors. Nice walk-in shower. That'll be closing uh, most likely next month. Um, here's another one, Waikiki Banyan. This is remarkable. 34th floor on Tower 2 in the uh, Malka Tower, which has direct ocean or, or mountain views. 533 square feet. So city ocean views, here's your monthly dues, what it covers. Almost 900,000 went to escrow in one day. Remarkable. Um, this is definitely going to set a record, in my opinion. There's nothing been, nothing sold this high yet. The highest record just a, about a week ago is 888-888. Uh, I'm really curious about the numbers these days. But I'm guessing being one day in escrow, this might break 900,000. And... Just to kind of give you the state of the market was last year, last summer, I think it might have been July or August. I had a, a lunch with, he's a longtime realtor. He also owns a vacation rental management business here, but he's been a realtor. He's local, been a realtor for 40 years. And at that time, the highest selling unit banding was about 750,000. And we were both talking like, how much higher can these units sell for? Because we thought that was really a, a very steep price and you know six months later or so we're looking at maybe a unit selling for nine hundred thousand. so 
it is just a still really hot competitive market here the seller's market yeah and, and things just in the last few months have shifted dramatically for uh higher prices so really remarkable mark uh market we're dealing with right now so if you're a buyer um i just counsel patients um keep submitting offers make them as strong as possible as you'll see when i review all the the sold listings um cash is king but you know my client uh on the sunset one he is doing financing so it is possible to get your um a financing offer accepted uh, but we really made that a very strong offer um, not just on price but a lot of other terms in the contract okay now moving on to sold um island colony 20th 20th floor $2,500 above list price it was on the market for seven days 297 square feet this is a cash transaction the one on waikiki on the first floor $45,000 below list price 21 days on the market this was cash I'm just going to show you this one really quick because this is a large lanai um, over 500 square feet lanai kind of wraps around pretty neat there but being on that floor you are going to be dealing with the street noise and uh pool deck noise uh royal garnet waikiki another studio 18th floor Sold for list price for cash, 16 days of the market. This is a really, really nice unit, in my opinion. Uh, Reading at Beachwalk, Beach Walk, 44th, or excuse me, fourth floor. This is a one bed, one bath. This has been on the unit market for a long time. Um, they dropped the price. I'd showed this unit numerous times over probably like the past year. So, so I'm amazed you got a one bed and one bath um, at this price point. But it was a cash transaction. Marine Surf, eighth floor, sold for five hundred thousand dollars cash. Studio, three hundred ninety square feet. I actually had a uh, client making an offer on this. You know, we were under contract, but we backed out. But this is a, I think that's a pretty good price they got for this. Uh, Waikiki Sunset on the twenty-sixth floor, ten thousand dollars below list price, twenty-nine days on the market. This is a one bed, one bath, 546 square feet. This had mountain canal views, cash. Ritz Carlton, list price, 600,000, 33 days on the market studio. A nice large studio, 540 square feet. Pretty high dues, what it covers here. But these are really nice units. Uh, Waikiki Sunset on the 25th floor, 660,000. This is cash. Uh, one bed, one bath, 543. I did have a client make an offer on this one. Uh, we offered 645. Uh, this is a multiple offer situation. I think there were six offers. They did have the hotel furnishing, so it needed to be completely remodeled. Uh, Elikai Marine on the 14th floor. This is a good comp to the other one that just uh, back on the market this past week. 733,000, 2,000 below, below list price, 23 days on the market, 651 square feet, one bed, one bath. Waikiki Banyan, this is one that was financing. 30th floor in Tower 1. So 50,000 below above list price, 12 days on the market. My concern here, as I mentioned when I first uh, spoke about this unit, this lot right here, very desirable. It's currently leased out to the Marriott, which is right over here. This is a valley parking. But I would think eventually this is going to be developed. And when it does, obviously you're going to use, lose a lot of your ocean view. And this is a little deceiving anyways, because you got to look at, this is a steep angle you got to look at to kind of capture that view. Otherwise you're looking directly at the Hilton Hotel from your living room. Uh, Waikiki Banyan, 37th floor. This to me is remarkable. One bed, one bath, 830,000 with a mountain view. really incredible i have clients who bought last uh, year on the 28th floor paid a whole lot less about two hundred thousand dollars less than this so they have to be thrilled for what this sold for truly remarkable in my opinion uh the ritz carlton hundred thousand dollars below list price 11 days on the market this is a large studio six hundred twenty-nine thousand on the 24th floor 
Um, this is actually a conventional financing transaction here. Uh, nice one bed, two bath, Kualima West and Turtle Bay on the North Shore. Nice unit. Then lastly, Trump Tower on the 18th floor, almost a year on the market, 1.48 million for a spacious one bed, two bath with some nice views. And that is a wrap for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching my channel. And um, any questions at all, contact me anytime. Happy to be of value in any way I can. You take care.